Hello everyone, in this video I'm gonna talk about my project Wi-Fi Control Telescope. Now let's take a look. Here are my equipment. I have a equatorial mount EQ6 Pro and I have a Sharpstar CF90 refractor and I use the A10Z 3.2 microcontroller. It is a Arduino compatible microcontroller but with more processing power. I have a LCD screen for display and I have several buttons, uh, capacitors, capacitors, potentiometers and I have this MAX232 chip to convert uh, RS232 power level to TDL level. I have this stepper motor and uh, timing belt, timing belt pulley and I used this uh, 3D printed uh, stepper motor holder to hold the stepper motor and I used this uh, Raspberry Pi 2 and I also use a DSLR My project consists of four parts. Uh, first of all, I motorize the focus control using the stepper motor, uh, timing belt, timing belt pulley, and the 3D printed stepper motor holder. Second, I implemented the Skywatcher SyncScan uh, serial protocol in my TNC 3.2 and connected my TNC 3.2 to the SyncScan hand control using the uh, RJ11 cable. Uh, so my TNC 3.2 can uh, send command to the hand co controller to get status or to go to a target. Third, I implemented a JSON uh, protocol for my TNC to uh, talk to other device. For example, uh, now I'm connecting it to uh, a Raspberry Pi 2, so Raspberry Pi 2 can talk to uh, TNC using the USB serial port. Uh, so basically, how it works is uh, my uh, the TNC microcontroller speaks the uh, scene scan protocol with the hand control and outside device speaks the JSON protocol I wrote with TNC so outside device can send command to the mount or get status from the mount and last but not least the Raspberry Pi 2 hosts a web app that serves as a interface to communicate with my TNC microcontroller and my camera. So I can control the mount, the focus, the camera via a web app. Now it's demo time. So I'm gonna show you the uh, motorized focus first. So uh, this is the uh, stepper motor holder I 3D printed. I have a screw here to adjust the tension in the timing belt. Right now, there's no tension and the belt is uh, loose. So I can uh, manually uh, focus it without any problem. And if I want to uh, tighten the belt, all I need to do it's screw in the screw in this screw. Now the belt is tightened. We can use the stepper motor to drive the focus. So I have these two buttons here to change the direction, and this potentiometer to change the speed, and the LCD screen displays the status of the focuser. I use this yellow wire to change what it displays right now if I set it to high it's the status of the mount but if I set it to low it's the status of the focuser so 
Let's see. Uh, when I press the blue button, you can see that it turns slowly. And the focus gets longer. And if I press the red button, it goes the other way. It's pretty precise. I can change the velocity of the uh, stepper motor. Now it's faster. Now I will show you how to control all this using a web browser. I'm gonna use my iPad to control the telescope, but in fact, any device that can display uh, HTML5 should be fine. So now I'm going to input the local IP address of my Pi. And I got this web page I wrote that displays the real-time star map. So I can click on any star to get this menu. And I can do, for example, Go to that star, and then now the mount begins to move. And let's try another star. Uh, as you can see, the position of the mount is displayed by this green cross here. So I can press go to. And you can see the green cross here moves this position to the target star. And the mount also moves. I can also set the tracking mode here on this LCD display. T2 means it's in sidereal tracking mode and on my iPad I can set it to off and now it changed to zero that means it's off so let me change it back now it resumed tracking now I'm gonna show you using this iPad to control the focuser uh, here I can set the speed of the stepper motor and change the direction. For example, here you can see the stepper motor is moving and when I press stop, it will stop. And I stop. And I can switch to another direction. I can also set the velocity. Now you can see it's turning slower than before. Stop in the other direction. Okay. Now I'm gonna show you um, using this iPad to control the slow motion of the mount. So here. I can change the slow speed and the mount moves. So I can set the speed back. I can also do the RE axis. This web app can also interface with the camera. So I can go to the camera page, and this page interacts with the camera using the GPhoto 2 command line. Right now, my DSLR is on, and it's set to Bob exposure mode for long time exposure. And it's connected to my Raspberry Pi. And here in this page, I can do detect my camera and I can install the configuration if say I want to set my ISO I can just 
send the jphono to command here. But now I'm gonna demo a exposure. So, so I can press shutter and release it. Now let's wait a while for the file to transfer to my Raspberry Pi. Now I get this image. I can copy the image here and download the file. I actually have it here, but let me replace that. And it's done. So now I get an image of my room. So this is basically my project. Um, right now it's still in a sort of proof of concept phase, but I will improve it later. Uh, I hope it helps and thank you for watching.